Hey everybody, I was working through some instruments and making some videos and I wanted to do a video today on this cool little percussion instrument. Um, it is essentially a wood block. Don't tell my percussion friends that, they would be offended. But it's made with this beater that conveniently stores in it. And these are not holes just for the storage. Those holes are part of the instrument. It's what let the sound come out. It has many names. Some of the names that you may find it called are the wooden percussion frog, the croaking frog, the Hawaiian tree frog, the wooden frog, the frog guiro, the frog rasper, a variation of a tone block, a variation of a wood block. So lots of potential names. Um, the basic gist is hold it by the back legs. That's where there's extra wood so it doesn't dampen the sound, so it lets the wood vibrate. Take the fat end of the beater and scrape over these grooves in an upward fashion. They do come in different sizes. The smaller ones are higher pitched, the larger ones are lower pitched, um, more like a bullfrog, so everything in between. I like to play mine in groups of two or three because that's how I tend to hear frogs in nature. If yours isn't sounding quite right, adjust the pressure that you're scraping with. If it still sounds not what you want. Um, think of the speed you're scraping. If you scrape really fast, we don't get the croak of a frog. And if you scrape really slow, it doesn't resonate. So find that sweet speed that really makes it sound like you want it to sound. Um, we can also use it just like a wood block and all percussionists know the instruments get different pitches at different areas. So I get a much higher pitch right here, and I could make a little rhythm with that. So if you have one of these, explore it and have fun with it. If you don't have one in your percussion arsenal, I think it's a, a neat little thing to pick up and add to your collection. So there we have the instrument of many names, but some type of frog. Have fun.